And welcome to Highland Park High School here in St. Paul, Minnesota for this afternoon's presentation of high school basketball here. Chaska and Highland Park. Hawks of Chaska coming into the game with a 4-1 and one record coming off of that big win against Lakeville North just a few nights ago. Uh, Highland Park comes in at 1-3 and three overall. Uh, they will go on to play Prairie Seeds Academy in their next matchup after playing against Chaska this afternoon. Hope, you'll have a great, hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Again, Ryan Paul coming to you live from Highland Park on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Nolan Hanson alongside me here for the production and Brady Nicholson on the camera this evening. Parker Brooklyn, Marcus Peters, Cole Nicholson, Zach, La uh, Zach Leah, and Matt Elias in the starting five for your Chaska Hawks. Boo Brotman, Lewis Cox, and Hughes, I believe, start for the Highland Park Scots. The Scots win the opening tip. This is Muhammad Boo. Highland Park will have the first possession here. Swung around. Oh, it's Gallagher who starts, rather. Gallagher with it. He swings it over for Lewis. Lewis back over to Cox for Highland Park. Back for Brodman now. Brodman over for Lewis. Lewis back for Gallagher. Here's inside the paint. 14 Nazir. Cox. Cox goes up and is fouled. He'll go to the line for two and try to put Highland Park on top here early. Leah, Leah picks up his first foul. Nazir Cox, number 14, the 5'11 senior. At the line here. First free throw is up and good. One nothing lead for the Highland Park Scots here early on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Second one up and short. Nicholson the board for Chaska. One nothing here. Under a minute in. Zach Lee at the timeline. Working against Evan Brodman. Into the corner for Elias and the senior. Back to Nicholson now. Nicholson takes the baseline. Swings it off for Leah. Leah from long range off. Nicholson pokes it out. He's going to get called for over the back. And we're going to go the other way. A foul on Cole Nicholson. Will be Chaska's second foul and Nicholson's first of the evening. Or of the afternoon rather. A 1.30 start here from Highland Park in St. Paul. <clears throat> Working with a little bit of a sore throat here, so bear, bear with me. I have to take a couple of slugs of water. Hope you are having a great weekend, as we said earlier. Chaska Hockey will play uh, in less than an hour from St. Cloud. Taylor Hanson will bring you coverage of that one. They finish off the St. Cloud uh, tournament this afternoon at 2.30 on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Whistle and an offensive foul. It's going to go against Highland Park's number 22. That's Ian Gallagher. Gallagher, the 6'1", senior guard. First foul against the Scots this evening. Elias and... Takes the inbound and immediately returns it to Zach Lee, the sophomore, starting at guard for Chaska. Finds back it to Elias in the corner. Nicholson worked off a post down low, and he's fouled as he went up with it. Nothing was called, though. He's going to have to work on the way back. Now it's Gallagher. Gallagher into the corner for Boo. Muhammad Boo, the 5'11 senior guard, wearing number one. Here's a three ball from Brodman. Brodman sinks it. Chaska goes down 4 nothing early. Well, Brodman sinks the three and puts Highland Park up 4-0 on the Hawks here early. About two minutes in, Elias and puts up top for Park Marcus Peters. Peters, three was short. Rebound by the Scots. Elias and playing good defense as Brodman crosses the timeline. Swung back up top now for Nassim Lewis. Lewis inside the paint, up for one. No good. Rebound Nicholson. Outlet for Lee. Lee is going to slow it down. Now he's going to push up ahead for Elias, who has Parker Brooklyn open down low. Bjorklund takes a couple dribbles inside, goes up with it. Block and a jump ball called. Chaska is going to retain possession. A good start for Highland Park here. On their home floor, 4 0 with 15.36 to go in the first half. We're going to get a substitution. And Abdullah Muhammad checks in. The inbound after the jump ball. 
Chask is Nicholson down low. He goes up and is fouled by Muhammad, who just checked in. Nicholson's going to go to the line, try to put Chask on the board here, down 4 nothing. Highland Park resides in the St. Paul City Conference alongside Central Johnson Central High School, Johnson High School, Como Park High School, who Jazz could beat by 40 the other night, Humboldt High School, Harding, and Washington High Schools. The Scots' last uh, trip, or last conference championship amongst those teams was back in 04, the same year that Chaska reached the state tournament and won it. Ball patted around, a bit of a weird physics play there. Back up top for Gallagher now. Gallagher out for a boo in the corner for three. No good. Elias and snatches the board. Yorkwood in the lane. Up and good for two. Chaska ties it up. 4-4 here with just under 15 to go. Chaska showing a little energy here. From Highland Park High School in St. Paul, Minnesota. Down low, Abdallah Muhammad has it. Abdallah Muhammad against Elias and misses the layup. Offensive rebound, though, is won by Nazir Cox. Ian Gallagher back over for Cox. Now it's back to Gallagher. Gallagher had his pass, poked out of bounds by Bjorklund. Top. Here's Broadman. Broadman swings it over for Boo. And now it's worked around for Nassim Lewis over for Broadman again. Boo into the corner for Lewis. Lewis for three. That's off. Offensive rebound though by Nazir Cox. Here's Boo who's going to check up a three ball. That one's off. Offensive rebound. Nope. Now it's one over by Leah. Leah's going to give it back to Elias who's going to bring up the floor. Pushes it for B. Yorkland. Now it's to Nicholson. Number 33 in white. Chest is Star Jr. Nicholson at the top of the key gives it in to Bjorklund. Bjorklund double team. Now is open Leah. Leah takes the baseline back to Bjorklund. Bjorklund no dribble up and good. No. He's fouled on the way up. Undre Ellis, the, the head coach for Como Park, or uh, Highland Park rather, displeased with that call. Chaska's going to have a shot to take the lead here. It's going to be Bjorkland at the line for two, attempting to get his first two points of the evening. Check that, Bjorkland's third point of the evening. Well, Bjorkland's up to three on the evening. This would be four, and it is. for the Chaska Senior. Connor Crino is going to check in to see his first action here at the next dead ball. Boo has it in the corner. Boo's pass errant. It was poked out of bounds apparently. I didn't see a big poke out of bounds. Maybe I just missed it. And from Highland Park High School, home of the Scots, the 6-4 lead for Chaska here with 13.41 to go. Highland Park, home of Chaska Herald sports reporter Eric Croucher. His high school when he was growing up. He played one game on this floor as a freshman. You follow him on Twitter, at Chan Chaska Sport. He's got some great content. Eric will be with us on Tuesday for our Chaska Basketball Showcase Game of the Week when they host Edina. We'll have Hawks Basketball pregame with Eric, and then he'll be on the mic for color commentary along with me against number one ranked Edina from Chaska High School. That's Tuesday at 7 o'clock on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Back on the basketball floor. Nazir Cox. Cox back up top. Here's Aden. Aden who just checked in. Worked around for Lewis now. Lewis to Boo. Boo gives it back to Mustafa Aden. Up top here at the key for Nazir Cox. Cox guarded by Nicholson. He goes into the paint. Nicholson, good defense. Shot didn't go. Leah's going to come away. Chaska has numbers. Leah pushes ahead. He takes it all the way himself. Spitting layup. Beautiful basketball from Zach Leah. Puts Chaska off 
at the other end for the Scots. Nassim Lewis inside, stolen away by Eliason. It's a scrum for it, a jump ball finally called, and it's going to go in favor of Highland Park. Grotman the inbound pass. That was stolen away by uh, Nicholson for Chaska. Here's Crino as a tray ball in the corner, short. Rebound by Lewis. He's going to push ahead for Como, or for Highland Park rather. Backs up now after pushing it ahead right with the with quick, quickness. Now it's over for Boo. Boo for Lewis. Lewis over for Aiden, who just checked in moments ago. Cox with it. A bit of an interesting afternoon here at the gym. It's seems like there might be more Chaska fans here than Highland Park fans. So three ball from Boo is off. Rebounded offensively though by Nazir Cox. Now it's a three from Broatman. That one drops. Broatman's up to six on the night. A one point lead for Chaska here is with 11.44 to go. Zach Lee across the timeline. A tip pass around by Mohamed Boo. Eleven <coughs> forty-one to go. Back on the basketball floor. Sorry, Nicholson up short for two. Rebounded by Highland Park. Pushed ahead for Muhammad Bowie. Dishes it out for Broatman. Broatman for three. He's on fire. Broatman's up to nine points. For Highland Park, he has all but one of their points, and they take a two-point lead here due to the Scots with 11-12 to go in this first half. Here's Leah. Leah back to Krenos. Krenos chucks up a three ball. It's off. Offensive rebound. Fix came flying in, and he's called for a foul. Maybe it was Leah who was called. I don't know who the foul was called, and they didn't announce it. Oh, it was Bjorklund. They just announced it. Bjorklund picks up his first foul. So Broatman for Highland Parks has all of, but one of their nine or ten points so far. He's got nine, all off of three balls. Spencer gets the freshman for Chaska. Checks in here. Replacing Bjorklund. Three of the five starters on the bench here. Krino's Gets and Fix are out there, bench players. This is Benny Hughes who just checked in. Now it's for Broatman. Broatman's two. Floater was off. Rebound Nicholson. Nicholson's entering the paint. Nicholson goes up with it for two. That was easy for Cole Nicholson. He's got four. A nice basketball move there from the Chaska Jr. Puts Chaska in. Highland Park all knotted here at ten. With ten and a half to go on the lens in Chevrolet. We look Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Benny Hughes locked down by Connor Crino. Swung out for Boo. Benny Hughes is a 5'10 junior. He just entered the game. Now it's back for Broadman. Broadman double dribble. Nothing call. Here's a three ball. Again, heat check. No. Nicholson, the defensive rebound. Nicholson into the painted area. Crino's head fake. Enters. Left hand swatted. Foul. Mustafa Aiden, the 6'4 junior, came flying in to block the shot and he was called for a foul with 10 minutes and one second left. Connor Carino's almost got put in a highlight reel for the wrong reason but instead it's a foul and he's going to get two free throws. First one from Carino's is missed. Nassim Lewis checks in. He's going to replace Boo on the floor. Connor Krenos with 10.01 to go. Second one's good. Krenos is on the board with one. Hughes with it. Hughes kicks it over from Nassim Lewis. Lewis back to Broatman. Broatman foul. Offensive. It's going to go against. Highland Park against Mustafa Aiden. 
His second foul of the evening, and he's going to find a seat on the bench and enter Yosef Gitu. Connor Krinos takes the inbound pass from Peters, and he's going to slow it up here as he works up the basketball floor. 9.38 to go in first half. Nicholson has it now. He's into the corner for Fix. Fix to Nicholson. Here's Krinos at the top. Chaska swinging it. Nicholson pulls the trigger on a three. He hung it short. Rebound by Evan Brodman, the 6'1 junior, who has nine points all off threes tonight. Travel. Yipper. Joseph Gitu tried to take one to the rack, but he called for a travel. And it's going to go in Chaska's favor here. With 9.17 to go, it's an 11-10 lead for the Hawks. Nicholson over for Peters. Peters to Fix in the corner. Fix takes the baseline. Locked down, though. Now it's off for Peters. Peters up top for Krinos. Krinos to Peters. Now Nicholson's open. Nicholson into the hole. Nicholson off the glass. Good for two. Cole Nicholson up to six here. 13-10. Connor Krinos claps his hands in the front court. Eight forty to go. Here's an ugly looking shot from Benny Hughes that goes out of bounds and chats the ball. Crino's the point guard here, eight and a half to go. Inside for Eliason. Scott's playing his zone. Nicholson going to pick that apart with a three ball. Instead, it's missed. And with 8.20 to go, a rebound by Broadman. Nassim Lewis inside. Now it's Gitu. Gitu walked with it. And they stop it. We're going to have a conversation. I think that was a pretty blatant travel. But nothing overturned at 8.13 on the clock. Chaska going to hold on to a three-point lead here. And with the, the ball, they're going to push up. Connor Krinos, Nicholson, P uh, Eliason. Krinos right in front of the Highland Park bench. Here's a three from Peters. Foul down low. Matt Eliason called for it. Eliason's first foul goes offensively underneath the rack. And 8.02 here. Scott's going to ball back and we'll have a chance to tie it up here. Pushing ahead. Benny Hughes over for G2. G2 back to Boo. Boo over for Nassim Lewis. Lewis back out to Mohamed Boo. Now it's Lewis once more. Screen set and a roll by G2. Foul. Bjorkland going to pick it up. It'll be his second. 13-10 lead for Chaska here. About halfway through the first half. Correction, it was Peters who picks up the foul. It was his first. Boo has it. Boo crossing over Nicholson. He still clamped him down, though. Brotman has it. Brotman guarded by Matt Eliasson. Nothing doing there, though. Benny Hughes swings it over for Nassim Lewis. Here's Lewis inside off the iron. No good. Rebound to Peters. Pocket picked, though, and Highland Park's going to get a free bucket out of here if they could make the shot, but they can't do that. So empty possession off a of steal in the back court. So Connor Crino still with a three-point lead here for Chaska. Walks up the floor, setting something up for Chaska here. Facing off against their third St. Paul team this year. They've their second team out of the St. Paul City Conference. North St. Paul resides in the South Suburban. Foul down low, and Parker Brooklyn's going to get a pair from the charity stripe. Fouled by... Didn't see what the foul was on. I think it was on Nassim Lewis for Highland. No, nope, it was on Yosef Gitu instead. I thought incorrectly, but Bjorklund still is going to go to the line for two free throws here. 13-10 lead for the Hawks. Puts him up by two possessions here. Bjorklund's up to five. Oh, 
Coach Andre Ellis for Highland Park calling out the shots from the sideline and two for two from the line for Parker Bjork and he's up to a team high six points. Nicholson also has six. Into the corner, it's swung for Brodman. Brodman's pass tipped up in the air, but Yorkland pushes. Yorkland and Chaska has numbers. Peters mishandled a pass. He's down low in trouble. Peters. Timeout, Dana Coleman. Going to be a 30 for Chaska. We go to break on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Ox Broadcast Network. This Chaska Ox Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Highland Park High School in the city of St. Paul. A five-point lead for your Chaska Hawks on the Scots here with 6.35 to go. Coming out of the Chaska short timeout, Zach Lee is going to inbound the pass on the baseline. Looking for an option. Crowd wanted a five-second call. I don't think it was quite five seconds yet, so Chaska is going to get it in. Elias and works down for Lee. Lee now Bjorklund down low. Bjorklund working against Boo. Prinos, one hand pass in for Nicholson. Nicholson back to Elias, and now it's Leo. Get him. Bjorklund in the paint. Bjorklund working against the slew of Scots, and that one tips around and drops. Bjorklund's up to eight points the afternoon. Evan Broadman. Broadman over for Gallagher. Gallagher's shot just too long. Now it's over for Broadman the rebound. Gallagher going to try once more. That one's not going to fall. Nicholson the rebound. Gallagher exited the game after starting. He picked up his first foul early and sat on the bench until now. Seven point lead for Chaska here. And a foul against Mohamed Boo for Highland Park. His first foul of the afternoon, 544 on the clock. Parker Bjorkman going to go to the line for one and one. We're in the bonus here. Parker Bjorkland for Chaska, averaging 15.4 per contest. Misses the first of a one and one. Matt Elias in with the rebound. Went up with it. Was fouled. He's now going to get two free throws. Five forty-one on the clock here from Highland Park. Ryan Paul coming to you here live on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. For our what is this? One, two, three, fifth stream of the week. We will conclude this afternoon from St. Cloud, starting in just about a half hour. You can watch that one live on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Watch all of our games live all season long at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. New York on the rebound after the missed free throw by Eliason. It was P it was uh, Eliason at the line who had one point, so he's on the board now. An eight point advantage for Chaska here, 18 to 10. With five minutes to go in the first half. Timeout. Highland Park. We're going to go to break. And when we come back, it's the final five and a half from Highland Park High School on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Ox Broadcast Network. This Chaska Ox Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and beyond marketing communications and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back from Highland Park here in St. Paul, Minnesota. 
527 to go here. We're getting ready to resume action here from the basketball floor and Highland Park gets the inbound pass in. In the backcourt is Nassim Lewis. Lewis gives it over for Nazir Cox now. Cox double team. Breaks it though. Down low at his pass poked away. Out of bounds. Highland Park ball. Eighteen ten here. Ryan Paul coming to you here. Live on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Chaska comes into the game at four and one. They will play Edina on Tuesday as their next game. Coming off of the big big win against Lakeville in Lakeville uh, last or this Tuesday. Lakeville obviously was ranked number seven in Class 4A, so it was a big win for Dana Coleman and company. Down low, here's Broadman. Broadman couldn't get a good shot off. He gets his own board, though. Now Mohamed Boo for three. That's a banger. Pulls Highland Park within five. 4.50 to go. Boo is on the board with his first three points of the evening. Exactly across the timeline. Toe pass up for Nicholson. Nicholson, fancy move inside, and he's up to eight. And Shask is up by seven. Nice ball movement there off long pass. And Lewis the assist. Give the points to Gallagher. His first or his second his second and third points on the night. The Oakland threw a lot of contact, called for a travel. Five-point lead for Chaska. Highland Park with the ball here. Try to cut it down to a one-possession game. Their crowd is into it. For the Scots, Nassim Lewis. Inside, here's Nazir Cox. He walked with it, and they're going to give the ball right back. Four oh five on the clock. A Press applied by the Scots. Now they're going to back off. So Chask is going to, with four minutes left, have a chance to bring it up here. Highland Park's fans getting some chance in. Peters here. Over Eliason. Eliason for Bjorklund. Now Leah. Leah to Peters. Highland Park's fans getting nice and loud here. Broadman. Bro er, Nicholson guarded by Broadman. He's up. Nicholson couldn't get it off. Now Broadman comes away with the rebound. Broadman down low. Bjorkman had it poked around. Nazir Cox ha handles it now. And Bahamut Boo is going to slow it up before giving it up top for Nassim Lewis. St. Paul City Conference basketball for you. Nassim Lewis inside in the paint up and spins one in for two. Nice move from Nassim Lewis. He's up on the board for his two first two of the evening and it's a one possession game with three minutes to go exactly up top for Chaska B. Yorkland now B. Yorkland along the baseline up off the window for two and one Parker B. Yorkland B. Yorkland the first one into double digits tonight a 22-17 lead, and Bjorklund's up to 10. Here's Bjorklund at the line, averaging 15.4 per game through five. He completes the three-point play. He's up to 11 points tonight. Jazz, because Dana Coleman wants his guys to get fired up. And the seam Lewis at the point now. Calling out the shots, guarded by Peters. Now it's Mohamed Boo back around in the scene, Lewis. Benny Hughes up top now. Now it's Boo. Boo passes up a flashing Broadman and throws it all around. That's the ball. Lee in the backcourt. 2.16 to go before halftime. 
Highland Park's fans back into it. Foul against Boo. He doesn't agree with the call, but I don't think his opinion is going to change the fact that a foul is going to be called against him. 2-12 to go. 23-17 the score here. Leader shoot two. Chaska in the double bonus. Ten fouls against the Scots. Five against Chaska. Leah puts Chaska up 24-17 now. The second from Leah up and off. Broke in the rebound. Leo with three points on the night now. Broadman swings it over, skips a pass for Nazir Cox. Cox back up for Lewis. Lewis back to Hughes. Hughes now to Gallagher. Gallagher inside, finds an open Lewis in the corner for three. Long rebound by Gallagher, though. Nazir Cox up top. A minute and 45 to go. Nassim Lewis. For the Highland Park Scots. Roadman fouled by Eliason. A second against Matt Eliason for Chaska. He's going to retreat to the bench. Now it's over for Broman off the inbound, inbound. Swung around to Benny Hughes. Hughes works it back now for Lewis. Lewis calls out a set. Now he's trying to cross over Peters. Does just that, but can't get the bucket to drop. And Nicholson skies up for the rebound. Lee across the timeline with 1.10 on the clock. Leah, Leah out for Krinos. Krinos extra pass to Bjorklund. Now it's back to Krinos. Krinos finds Peters. Under one minute to go. Chaska doesn't look like they know what they're doing here on the play. Nicholson's down low wanting the ball. Tipped away. Some frustration from Dana Coleman. I think Chaska wasn't on the same page there as far as what kind of set they were trying to run. We have 40 seconds left here in the first half. It's a 24-17 lead for Chaska. Here's an ugly looking shot from Benny Hughes is going to complain and now an errant pass from Nicholson out of bounds basketball with 31 and a half to go chaos would be one of the better ways to describe the last five minutes of this half I mean between the noise and the small atmosphere in this gym that Highland Park provides this school we were trying to get in here and it's like a maze, the hallways of this school. We could not find our way to the gym. It's like clumped, clumped right in the center of the building. Now here's Kredos. Kredos off for Leah with 25 to go. Energy in here. Here's Peters at the top of the key. Peters back to Leah. 18. Chask is presumably holding for the last shot. Dana Cohen wants him to move, though. He's going to hand it off for Leah. Leah with third. Er, for Nicholson, rather. Nicholson with 10 seconds left. Here's Leah at the top for eight with 8 seconds left. Now Krinos has it with 4, 3. Need to take the shot. Peters needs to throw it up with 1 second left. Peters' shot is up and no good. Chaska not playing their best basketball through the first half. We have a 24-17 score here from Highland Park High School. At halftime, the Hawks and the Scots. When we return, we'll have second half action for you here on the London Chevrolet Book Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab.
Welcome back to Highland Park High School in the city of St. Paul, Minnesota for high school basketball here on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick above Beyond Marketing Communications in St. Francis Regional Medical Center. It's Ryan Paul here live with you for the second half of action here between the Scots and the Hawks. Hawks have a 24-17 lead after an ugly first half of basketball by any standard. But nevertheless, Chaska with the lead coming through here to the final 18 minutes of play. Here's Marcus Peters, a long two ball. Rebound offensively, Park Cole Nicholson. He really came in strong for that one. Bjorklund got the ball after it was tipped away from Nicholson. Now a foul called. Bjorklund is going to get a pair of free throws here. He has 11 points in the first half, or through the first half. Third foul against, I believe it was called on Broadman. <laughs> Bjorklund knocks down the first of two free throws, putting him up to 12 points on the evening. <laughs> Bjorklund's good at the second. For the second uh, free throw, rather. He's at 18. Here's Lewis to the tune of the Chaska bench getting into it. Lewis swung back over now for Gitu. Gitu took a dribble in, nothing doing there. Now he looks to set a screen. The ball goes the other way. Now it's Boo. Boo through the bad screen of Gitu. He rolled off of it, wants the ball. Instead, it's going to be a forced jumper from Boo. Wants a foul, nothing coming there. Now it's ahead for Elias. And here's a corner long two for Peters. Now Nicholson gets it at the top of the key after the offensive rebound. Pass tipped out of bounds. Highland Park, or Chaska ball with 16.59 to go here. One, and one minute and one second into the game. Inside for Nicholson now. Nicholson. Foul. He'll have two free throws. Nicholson had eight in the first half for Chaska. Twenty-six seventeen here. Sixteen fifty-four to go. First one doesn't fall. Good hand good crowd on hand here. Chaska fans making the Half hour plus trip out here to St. Paul. York not able to grab the rebound off of the 2 0 for 2 trip for Cole Nicholson at the free throw line. Up top here is Lewis. Lewis inside the paint. Foul. Twenty-six, seventeen, still the score here. The first foul against Chaska. In this half, Peters picks up his first foul. Lewis for a pair at the line. Uh, first one up and no good. The second of two coming from Lewis now. No shot, a lane of violation. And a very quick substitution here. And enter Gallagher replacing, well they got six guys on the floor. They have six players on the floor. And nothing called. See now if I had to guess, this is probably Yusuf G2's first couple years of playing basketball. He seems like he's not really quite 100% sure. Anyway, Zach Lee here in the backcourt. Coming up guarded by Boo. Nicholson takes the pass. Running right into Zach Lee. He got tangled up there. Eliason now. Now it's off for Peters. Peters has Leah. Leah now stolen away off the entry pass. And his ear Cox jumped the lane. Now he gives it up for Muhammad Boo. Boo kicks it around now for Lewis. Lewis in the paint. Right hand block. Nicholson the board. Swat by Bjorklund. Now it's Leah up 
ahead on the floor for Chaska. Here's another jumped passing lane, but Eliasson is able to recover. Now he goes in for two, block. A lot of block shots here this afternoon. Up ahead is Nassim Lewis. Here's another three from Broadman, and that's good. Evan Broadman up to 12 points, all off of threes. A six point ball game here from Highland Park, 26-20. The score, Matt Eliasson, a good pass for a striking Cole Nicholson. He goes up off the glass, no good. Rebound, up and, and one for er, Nicholson. Nicholson enters double digits. The Hawk Jr. who has had 20 plus point performances in each of his first five games. You're gonna have a chance to complete a three point play here. Up and good. Nicholson has 11. And Boo brings it up the floor for Highland Park, trailing by nine here with 15.35 to go in the regulation period. Swing back around for Nazir Cox. Back up top for Cox. Here he is for three. No good. Bjorken with the block out. Brodman. Over for Bjorken now. Inside. Nicholson. Beautiful move from Cole Nicholson. We have an injury. I think we might have had a guy got poked in the eye. A fan quickly comes to his assistance. And with an injury, with the injury timeout, 15 minutes and 10 seconds to go, we will go to break. An 11 point lead for Chaska with 15 minutes and 10 seconds to go. We'll be right back with more. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Nazir Cox will be escorted off of the basketball floor. And out of sight. Don't know what the injury was. They carried him off like he was hurt in the lower body area, but when he fell, it looked like he got poked in the eye. So, who knows? 15 10 to go here after the brief stoppage on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. 31 to 20 the score. Hawks with their largest. Lead of the evening here, up by 11. 15 minutes to go from Highland Park High School. Ryan Paul with you. Abdallah Muhammad has it at the top. Gives it back over for Gallagher now. Gallagher over for Hughes. Hughes now for Broadman. Broadman pulls up from 18. He hung it short. Rebound Nicholson. Nicholson pushes for Leah. Leah's going to take it in. Now it goes off the foot. And Matt Eliasson grabs it. For Leah in the corner. Leah takes it. No look pass for Bjorkland. Bjorkland. To Eliasson, the extra one to Peters now. Now Nicholson with it. Mismatch here. Nicholson much more talented than Yusuf, or Abdallah Muhammad, rather. Now it's in for Evan Broadman, who wanted to sky high for the dunk, but instead just had to lay it in. Broadman up to a team high for Highland Park with 14. Broadman, the 6-1 junior for Highland Park. Average is 18 through his first two games that he's played in this year. Here's Peters for a trade. Got it! Marcus Peters for three. At the other end now, it's Abdallah Muhammad. Muhammad gives it back over for Nazir. Nope. Instead, that's Benny Hughes. Hughes down low now. Here's Muhammad. Connects from 10 on the baseline. 
Mohammed's first points of the evening. He's averaging eight through two games. Thirteen and a half to go here. This is Lee on the sideline. A spinning pass in for Nicholson. Nicholson goes up with it and puts it in for two. Now at the other end, it's Ian Gallagher. Gallagher for Brodman inside, blocked by Matt Elias. And rebound, though, by Abdallah Muhammad. Chaskin gets it back, and Aaron pass, though. And with 12.59 to go, we're going to get some substitutions after the stoppage. Krenos will enter for Chaska, and Nassim Lewis going to come in for Highland Park. Right in front of the scorer's table, the Scots will inbound. And in the backcourt is number 10, Nassim Lewis. Here's Benny Hughes for a three. He flopped. Cronin Crino's working to fight through a screen. Went up and got in his face, but he didn't make any contact. A couple of flops here from the junior, Benny Hughes. Now Connor Crino's has a wide open three. He's going to pass it up, slow it down, and give it to Peters. Peters' pass is blocked by Brodman. Brodman down low off the glass. It's... Abdallah Mohammed up and good for two. Highland Park within 10. Leah, Leah with it now. Here's a Nicholson three. Money ball. Cole Nicholson for three. Here's another Broadman three. Can't answer. Bjorklund fighting for the rebound. 12 minutes to go. Chaska with up 39-26 here. Zach Leah brings it up the floor. Leah into the paint. Leah all the way, coast to coast. No good. Bjorklund is there for the putback. And two. Bjorklund up to 15. Timeout. Chaska for some substitutions. We're going to get a brief stoppage here when we return on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network. We will have the final 1150 of basketball action here from Highland Park. A reminder check out our sponsors, Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and uh, St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. When we return from Highland Park, it's 41-26 in the second half. Well, welcome back here from Highland Park. After a very short break, we are getting ready to resume action here. A short timeout called by Chaska's Dana Coleman. With 11.50 to go, the Hawks will break the huddle with a 41-26 lead on Highland Park. The Hawks looking for their fifth straight victory after losing opening on opening night to North St. Paul. They are 4-0 since then, including a victory over number 7 in Class 4A, Lakeville North. The Hawks with a tough stretch ahead of them. They'll play Edina on Tuesday night right here on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network from home. Then we will play in the holiday tournament against Eden Prairie, which is ranked number two in uh, Class 4A. As a three from Hughes is chucked up. No good. Foul. As I was saying, uh, Edina, Eden Prairie, both uh, one and two in Class 4A, respectively. Then we play two Class 3A top ten teams in Delano and Orno after the holiday break. So a very tough and uh, upcoming stretch here for Chaska and head coach Dana Coleman. I think the Hawks have a good chance to compete in uh, pretty, pretty much all of those games. Obviously Delano with uh, senior Calvin Wishart who will be headed to Georgia Southern after this year. He's averaging over 35 points a game. And then Edina with Anders Nelson. Uh, Jack Middleton as Bjorkman comes away with the steal. He slows things up and gives it for Fix. Fix troubled, gives it back to Bjorkman. We'll talk more about the Chaska upcoming schedule uh, when we have a free minute, but let's get back to action here. Nicholson guarded and a body on the floor. Nicholson up and good for two. Chaska starting to come away with this one. 43-26 lead with just under 11 minutes to go here against the Scots of Highland Park. Stoppage, offensive foul. Highland Park not doing themselves any favors here. It's Mohammed Abdallah Mohammed who comes away guilty on the offensive foul. Ten minutes and forty seconds left. A 
Connor Crino's in the backcourt. Zooms right past Gallagher. Back up top for Crino's now. Now it's Eliason. Eliason and Fix working with it. Fix to Crino's. A lot of contact. Here's Fix. Gonna chuck one up from three ball range. Long. Bjork on the board. Bjork on the glass. Two points for Parker Bjork. Chaska up by 19. An explosion here of scoring here from Chaska in the final in the first seven minutes of action here from Highland Park. Benny Hughes into the paint. Call and a foul. I think he might be on the floor. No, he's gonna get called on the way up. Going to go against Nicholson. Nicholson gonna ask a couple questions of the official down low. Nicholson's a second. So Benny Hughes at the free throw line with 10 minutes and 3 seconds left. Benny Hughes, 1 for 2 at the free throw line so far. 1 for 1 at the free throw line so far. He's going to have his second one on, on the way. Takes a couple dribbles, one with each hand. And... Mohamed Boo called for a, an infraction inside the free throw lane. And here comes the press from Highland Park down by... Down 45-27 with 10 minutes to go. Chaska breaks that, makes it look easy. Now it's Eliasson off the glass for two. Chaska up by 20, here we go. Nassim Lewis pushes ahead. Now it's off for Mustafa Aden. Nassim Lewis now off for Mustafa Aden. Nicholson not even gonna bother guarding Aden. Now a three ball from Broadman and a out of bounds with a nine and a half to go. Nine thirty-three on the clock. Shask with a twenty-point lead on Highland Park here. Boys basketball action here on the Minnesota State High School League. Cole Nicholson lost the ball momentarily, throws it away. For number thirty-two, who we don't have on the roster. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess at it's Henry Glyden. Here in the corner now for Gardner. Back up top for Brodman. Tremonta Gardner just checked in out there at number three at the top of the key. Now for Boo. Boo. Here's a Brodman three fouled on the shot. Connor Carino is the guilty party with 8.52 to go. Three shots coming up for the, ju the junior, Evan Brodman, who already has 14 points tonight. Carino is the junior for Chaska, guilty of his first foul on the afternoon. First one up and good. Brobman. Up and good. Nope, no good. One rim didn't out. And right as I looked away, you missed it. So the third shot of three coming up here, 9.52. There's a three-point shooting foul, hence the reason why there are three shots. Some dogs in the gym uh, sounding their voices. Interesting. 8.52 <laughs> to go here. It says 47.29. Lee by Chaska. Leah pushing. Leah over for Bjorklund. Chaska up big here. Bjorklund up and good for two. A nice play by Parker Bjorklund. Boo. Blocked by Bjorklund. Now it's a battle for it on the floor. Krino has come away with it with eight and a half to go. <coughs> 20 point lead for Chaska. Krino's lost it as he drove. 
Down low, it's Glideman. Glideman missing. Now Eliason has it. Eliason, here's a three from Krinos. Money ball! Connor Krinos for three. Talk it over. Highland Park and Andre Ellis calls timeout. 52-29 to go with eight minutes and four seconds left. We'll be back after this. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. It'll just be welcome back to Highland Park here on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks at Broadcast. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. There we go. Welcome back to Highland Park on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. You're getting ready for the final 804 here from Highland Park. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go here. Broadman who has it up top here. Now it's over for Muhammad. Muhammad back to Lewis. Lewis, a nice move inside off the window for two. Good move by Jaquiel Lewis. Nassim Lewis, actually. I don't know if him and Jaquiel are related. Nicholson has it here, slowing it down, letting the clock run out. Nobody's going to guard him. Now Nassim Lewis comes up and guards him. Chaska in no rush here, up by 21 with seven and a half to go. Nicholson, stronger, pushing it over for Krinos now. Back over for Eliason, now for Peters. Allen Park not applying any pressure. Dalla Mohammed not guarding anybody, so Marcus Peters is gonna stand there and hold the basketball. Now he finally guards him. Peters lost his handle on it, and Abdallah Mohammed getting physical, helping Marcus Peters up. Nice sportsmanship play from Abdallah Mohammed, the 6'6 junior. And actually, does it look like a timeout? We will be right back with seven minutes to go. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Seven minutes to go here from Highland Park High School in St. Paul, Minnesota. Parker Broken right in front of us here is going to inbound it for Chaska. And we're going to get ready for the final seven minutes of basketball here. Zach Leah fighting through some contact. Inbound to Peter or Eliason, actually. And now it's Bjorklund. Bjorklund working through more contact. Krino's in another corner. Chaska going to slow it up here. 6.50 to go. Nicholson inside and one. Nice move from Cole Nicholson, the Jaska Jr. He already in double digits. Working towards that 20-point mark here tonight. As I said, 20 points in uh, Nicholson's first five starts. And Jaska up 54-31. Nicholson looking to add on to that with this three-point play here. He cannot do that. Nicholson struggling from the free throw line in his last couple trips. 
Here's Brodman. Back over now for Nassim, no, Mason Ferguson, who just checked in. Now it's Cox. Cox over to Lewis. Lewis now to Boo. Inside for a slashing Brodman. Blocked by Bjorklund. Pushed around now here for Chaska. Bjorklund. Now for Eliason. Eliason no looker for Krinos from the other corner. Moneyball. Connor Krinos another one. 57-31. Call it a route with six minutes to go. Twenty-six point lead is a three from Broadman. And Eliason snags the board off the miss from the sharpshooter from the Scots. And now Leah fouled by Gallagher. A dumb foul there by the Ch uh, Highland Park senior. Third foul on Gallagher. He's going to remain on the floor though. 5.57 left. Matt Elias and throwing to Zach Lee in the backcourt. A lot of contact by Nassim Lewis, who now gets the steal, or will be credited for the steal. He walked in there and almost a putback dunk. That would have been nice. Evan Broadman skied high, and now Bjork. Yep, that's a foul on Parker. 5.33 to go. 57.31 the score. Bjorkman also has three fouls. Seen a lot more of Zach Lee in the second half here than we have, or than we did uh, on Tuesday. Not a lot of Zach Lee on the floor um, back on Tuesday against Lake Vilmo. If he's gonna play it for the majority of the second half here now, Chask is clapping as Boo chucks up a three ball, rims off, and Nicholson comes for the rebound, gives it for Leah. Now it's pushed for Krinos. Krinos gonna give it for Eliason now. They swing it around to Leah. Leah inside the paint, lost the handle. Bjorklund let it go to bounds. And he wants, they're saying things. Five minutes to go, and it's going to be North or, uh, Highland Park ball. Cox checking back in. Timeout on the floor. Highland Park calls a 30, and we will return here from Highland Park with five minutes and one second to go. Go to a couple more breaks, and then we'll bring you the last couple of minutes here from Highland Park. This Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network live stream is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Highland Park here, home of the Scots, residing in the St. Paul City Conference. We've got five minutes and one second to go here uh, for Saturday afternoon basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Highland Park going to try to roll it in here. The Scots, uh, Lewis enters, and a foul going up, going to go against Eliason, I believe. Correct myself, that is Ian Gallagher who drove and uh, drew the foul. Only 10 seconds in to the uh, action to action here. It's Bjorklund's sixth, uh, fourth foul. Gallagher no good at the line for, for the first one. No good for the second one. 4.50 to go here. 57-32 margin here. Leah lost the handle on in the backcourt. Elias and chucks it ahead. B. Orkland saves it from going out of bounds, but he threw it to the wrong team. Now Nicholson has it. Nicholson's going to slow it up. Inside for B. Orkland. B. Orkland against Boo. And nope. Almost got it to drop. But he's going to get two free throws instead. 4.34 to go. Q 
clearly an older gymnasium here in Highland Park. These inner city schools, they've got some character to them, to the gymnasiums, and this one is nothing short of that. Plopped right in the middle of the building. And if he's a compass and a map to get here. Through the halls. The Oakland good from the line, 59-32. Now it's a long one from Gallagher who connects. Three ball from Ian Gallagher, the 6-1 senior. Highland Park still going to press Nicholson. Foul. We're going to go against Nazir Cox, who made some contact with Nicholson as he grabbed the ball. Nicholson jumped. Somebody yelled, Cole on the bench. And as Cox came in and uh, made contact with him. So 4.16 to go here. Ryan Paul coming to you here live from Highland Park. Brady Nicholson on the camera this evening. Owen Hanson pushing the buttons on the production. Nicholson's good at the one, for the one and one. It's a 60-35 game here. A couple of bounces of the ball at the free throw line. Nicholson second one up and good. 4.16 to go. Chaz is going to try to let this one run out. Highland Park presumably going to drop to one and four overall. They'll play Prairie Seeds Academy in their next game. A nice move inside the paint by Nazir Cox. Chaska's next game, as we've mentioned a couple times here in the broadcast, going to be against the Dine on Tuesday. Make sure to join us for that. That will be a fantastic game as Nicholson has a turnover. But uh, Eric Croucher and I will be live on the call for that one from Chaska High School. Pre -game, Hawks basketball pregame at a, approximately 6.45. We will bring you the official time, start time of that show uh, earlier in the week. And then on, uh, we'll bring you a couple more basketball and hockey games uh, that week as an air ball by Cox. Now Gallagher and Nicholson. Who's going to get the tee? I think they teed up Broadman. I think. Let's see what they got here. The crowd is going to get their fair share of lip in here, and I think we might get a technical against Broadman. Yep. Oh, double technical again, or er, technical for uh, Bjorkland and Broadman. That's going to be five against Bjorkland, so he'll exit. Parker Bjorkland going to find a seat on the bench after getting teed up. Broadman retaliated and uh, yelled in Parker Bjorkland's face. Injury technical. So things starting to get a little heated here. We'll see if anything ends up developing here in the last 325. But Bjorkland's going to exit. Trask is Dana Coleman doesn't agree with the call, but neither does. Andre Ellis, and uh, both for different reasons. Chaska breaks the press. B Peters down low. Peters mishandled it. Gives it off for Nicholson. Chaska's still going to try to ice this one away. They have the last say of things here on these Highland Park fans being up 61-37. So. A foul. Number 10 on um, Highland Park. And we'll be in a double bonus, but Krenos is going to go to the line for two. Chaska going to concede the lane. Reno's misses the first free throw. So a little interesting, a little bit of an interesting development there. A couple seconds ago, Parker Bjorkman fouls out. He's in double digits of scoring. I didn't catch his final number. Another air ball from Highland Park for long, from long range. That was Ian Gallagher, who wasn't even close on his three-point shot. And now another foul. I want to see who they got because I didn't catch it. It's against number five, Matt Eliasson for Chaska. Broadman goes to the line. He collected the technical foul and he skirmished with Parker Bjorkland, in which Bjorkland fouled out. Coincidentally. Broman second at the line. A couple dribbles, and now he looks up at the hoop, and the end over end free throw is good. 3.05 to go. A substitution 
And they're going to take out Ian Gallagher and put in Yosef Gitu. Long pass, Nicholson catches, slows it up, now back to Krinos. Peters and Leah have it now. Leah has a couple options. He likes to swing it around here and slow it up. Highland Park still playing aggressive defense. Peters has the baseline. Peters up and no good. 2.45 to go from Highland Park. Now, Nassim Lewis drives and is fouled. We were saying as we walked into the gym here and saw the kind of the, condi the conditions, excuse me, and uh, the crowd I thought it was going to be a little bit dead, but I mean, the score might say that, but uh, the crowd both definitely into it here. Chaska's fans traveling well. Highland Park obviously in their home gym. Their supporters are out. On the Saturday afternoon, we tipped off at 1.30. Local time is 2.53. You can catch the Chaska Hawks hockey team. If we go to break one more time, we'll try to pull their game up for you on a live look-in. From St. Cloud, Taylor Hansen is on the call for that one. The free throw is no good, and Nicholson comes with a rebound with two and a half to go. Greeno's in the backcourt, going to slow it up, guarded in the face by Boo. It goes out of bounds. Stoppage. We get some substitutions. Fix going to replace Peters on the basketball floor. And I'm going to try to pull up the live look in here from hockey. With two and a half minutes to go here from Chess or from Highland Park High School. Reno is on the sideline. Gives it up for Leah. Chaska rocking the all yellow uniforms. I'll uh, patch you into that here in just a second. They're up two nothing early against uh, St. Paul or against St. Cloud. And if we get a stoppage, we will send you out to uh, St. Cloud for a live look in. Cole Nicholson's going to axe it. And his night is presumably done with. Point down low. I didn't catch you. It was. I was still trying to pull up the video for the hockey game. We've got it in there now. And we should hopefully be patching you in there at the next timeout. Two minutes to go here. Fix pushing ahead for Fix. Reno's pushing ahead for Fix, rather. Now it's Eliasson in the corner. A minute 50 to go out of bounds. Highland ball. Chask up by 21. Still haven't dug into the JV team quite yet. Spencer Getz does play a little JV. There's a long two ball from number 10. Lewis is no good. A minute and 42. Chaska still having to battle the Highland Park press. Pushes ahead here. Get it across the timeline. Spencer gets the Chaska freshman. Averaging 0.5 points per contest. Minute and a half here. 90 seconds to go. Krinos gets the pass from Leah. Now it's into the corner for Fix. Fix down for Eliasson. Eliasson up top for Krinos now. Krinos to Leah. Leah in for Eliasson. Eliasson swinging it around. Krinos and Samir Omar is going to check in. Now it's in the corner for Leah. A minute and seven seconds to go. Foul on the floor. And now the JV team will enter here. Up by 21 with a minute and five to go. A foul and two shots going to come to the line here for Zach Leah. Leah at the line. Good from the first one. And for the third time this year, Samir Omar and Jack Frick are going to check in. Actually, Samir Omar's third time. I've spoken correctly. Not Jack Frick's third time. Ben Coleman will sit at the scorer's table, going to replace Leah after the free throw. Assuming he makes it, and he does, and exit Zach Leah. So the bench now fully on the floor here for Chaska. The starters have been removed. And with 60 seconds left, Chaska up 64 to 41. Broadman still with it here. He's up, I would imagine, over 20 points. I stopped keeping, or I had to stop keeping score. We had a little bit of a technical flaw, so my scoring abilities were taken away from me. Now Ben Coleman gets the rebound, the son of Coach Dana Coleman. And what are you doing, dude? That's Ian Gallagher who fouls with 44.3 seconds left, down 23.
64-41, fix it to line, the senior for Chaska, one of two seniors on the floor right now, Samir Omar, number 41 also in the 12th grade at Chaska High School. Two freshmen in Spencer Getz and Jack Frick, and then a sophomore, Ben Coleman. Are the five for Chaska right now. Two for two at the line for Fix. 66, 41, 40 seconds left. Let's see what Highland Park decides to do here. There's a three from Broad. He's a sharpshooter. Timeout. And when we come back on the London Chevrolet View, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network, the final 35.8 will bring you right back here. Uh, we'll send you over to St. Cloud. Maybe not. We're having some stream issues uh, from St. Cloud. So when we get that stream back, we will bring you live coverage from St. Cloud. Until then, we'll send you to break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Highland Park here. Ryan Paul coming to you for the final 35.8 seconds. We're unable to get you into the Shaska hockey game up in St. Cloud for some technical reasons, but we can tell you that early in the first period, they're up 2-0 on Tech Apollo of St. Cloud. 24 seconds left. Shaska's going to let this one run itself out here, up by 22 on the Scots of Highland Park High School. Shaska's going to come away with their fourth victory. The fifth victory in a row, rather. They're going to move to 5-1 and one on the season. Jack Frick with it. And with the JV team letting things run away. The clock will expire, and we are done. 66-44 for the final from Highland Park High School. The Chaska Hawks hockey team, uh, live update on Twitter, is up 2-0 after the first period. They say there was a, a period full of penalties. The final score tonight from Highland Park High School, 66-44. to For Nolan Hansen and Brady Nicholson, I am Ryan Paul signing off on this fantastic week of Chaska Hawks basketball on the lens in Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. We'll be back on Tuesday for Chaska versus Edina. Chaska Hawks basketball pregame will be, bring will be live at 645 with Eric Croucher. Have a good rest of your weekend, folks. We'll see you next week. Reminder, tune in to Chaska Hawks Hockey. You're out live right now at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Have a good weekend. Soar Hawks!